And, and today we'll be starting in on my gantry crane build. And once our carriage was welded out and fully secure, it was time to start working on the nice long legs of this gantry. Now they're nine feet tall and probably the simplest part of this entire build because all I had to do here was to join them to the nine foot feet of the gantry with a conventional perpendicular placement, then run a piece of two by four rectangular tube up the side of these legs, which will act as a stiffener and help to prevent side to side movement. <laughs> That's how you know it's going to be a pretty awesome Monday. And in today's episode of Super Sketch with Stretch, we are going to be attempting to lift this table and hopefully I don't die. Look at that. The table appears to be in the air. I think one wheel's rubbing a little bit. Awesome. First test, complete success. Borthers. So this video is like um, six years old approximately and since then I've gotten so much use out of this gantry. I've used it to pick up all kinds of stuff that I'm working on. It's worked great. The only issue that I wish I'd done or the only thing that I wish I'd done differently, you can see those 45 degree braces. They're really too close to the center of this. You can actually see the uh, those lower legs are starting to deflect a little bit there with the weight of the uh, back half of the truck on them. So what I should have done is taken those 45 degree dealios and run them out all the way to where the wheels are, you know, start where the wheel is and run 45 degrees much higher up on that vertical member. Uh, that's what I really should have done. But you know what? Um, other than that one little initial bit of bendage there at the beginning, I never had any problems with this gantry. I mean, I've picked up so much stuff with this, used it on all kinds of projects. Now, when I originally made this video, uh, you know, I, I designed this thing in my mind. You know, obviously I'm not an engineer. I designed it to be able to pick up two tons. And originally in the video, there were a whole bunch of people that were like all in the comments saying, like, I'll never pick up that much. Bleh. But then an actual mechanical engineer um, got on there and he actually was very generous. He took the dimensions and the like sidewall thickness of that tube and figured out that in most applications, this would be rated for at least three or three and a half tons if it were commercially built. So, uh, that was really cool. I'm very grateful to him for that even now. And I'm really grateful to everybody who watched this series. Uh, basically sticking stuff together like this, it's a pretty serious welding project. This is not like a beginner amateur project because obviously if something on this breaks, then it comes down and uh, there's serious injury or death or severe property damage. Not something you want to take chances with. But, um, you know, praise Yahweh, we never had any issues with this thing. I used it a lot. 
and uh, it was a definite benefit to have in the shop. So I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this video and being with me on this adventure. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more.